You know, Harriet, you can pull it off. I can tell. Why don't you start with these scenes? They usually work. They're very conversational. And she did. And she pulled it off. Kudos to Harriet. One more thing. I'm getting these plays published by a company called Art Age Publishing Company. It's for seniors, senior plays. So do them and pay me royalties. Do you know what royalties are? When you do a play, you pay royalties to the playwright. Break 15 bucks. Well, so I have a teaching degree and a child at Roper and Cranbrook. I was the artist in residence at Detroit Public Schools. Remember the ad theater, anyone? Yes. 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 I was yes. in the education outreach program. So I come well trained. I love teaching. We have middle school teachers, middle school students who find their way. I do in theater. I'm done talking. You came to watch a play. I'm done talking. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm going to be the one to introduce these wonderful acts. Okay, the first one we have, it's called plumbing. And you're trying to fix a leak. Okay, let me just turn this little doohickey clockwise, and that should do it. Well, I'm not sure about that, sweetie, because it's still leaking. <laughs> you sure about that? It's dripping on my shoe, dear. Pull the plug, friend. <laughs> yes, dear. Hmm, now, why didn't I think of that? Well, how difficult can a faucet be anyhow? Let me have another look. I don't want to say anything, but we've been fooling with it for about an hour already. I know, I know. I think it's this little, what you may call it? <laughs> yeah, I think I've got it now, there. Mm, do you think I should call a plumber, Phil? What, you don't believe in me anymore? <laughs> Oh, yes, dear. I believe in you. I'm just getting a shower here. Oh, pooey, 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 pooey. Get the bucket, then. Yes, dear. I'll fix it tomorrow. Yes, dear. Meanwhile, let's call a, a consultant right now. We're going to have a flood. Uh, uh, I'm getting a beer or two. P L U M B E R. <laughs> okay, the next one is, which I'm going to be in is called Watches. And there's someone is stopping for a bargain. Boy, we've been walking forever, and I still haven't bought anything. This is a big, busy, crowded, and exciting city. Just be patient. It may be exciting, all right, but I can't afford to buy anything. Well, what is it you want to buy? You know, some jewelry, a watch, or something. Everything is so overpriced. Well, you can't expect Tiffany's to be affordable. You know what I'm talking about. 20 bucks should be enough. 20 bucks won't buy anything, silly. Hey, do you see that guy on the corner there? He's got designer watches for sale, it looks like. Where? Oh, that guy with a folding table? <laughs> What's so funny? Look, he's selling watches to those other folks. Oh, yeah, because those watches are hot. That's why. They sure are. They are gorgeous, hot and ready. 
No, no. Hot as it's stolen. How do you know? Come here. See that Gucci watch? $15.95. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> no way. Wait, I can afford that. It's against the law. You can't buy stolen goods. What if I don't know? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> That they're stolen. I'm just an innocent passerby. I'm telling you, they are either stolen or or they're not knockout. Don't be naive. Oh, you spoil all the fun. <laughs> I'm just helping you. Here, here's a nice statue of the Empire State Building. Why don't you buy that? Are you sure it's not hot? <laughs> yes, for three bucks. No one's going to get rich. Buy it. No. Cheapo gift. I am going over here and buy one of those cool watches. Okay, but you got fair warning. Where'd the guy go? Isn't he was that, just here. Isn't that your father buying a watch? Isn't your birthday coming up? It's time to go. <laughs>
You don't have a frickin' choice. Oh yeah, listen, come here. I got a foolproof, guaranteed plan. There are no guarantees in prison. All I can say is leave me out of it. Go away. Well, old faithful pal, mate, buddy. You talking to me? I don't even want to hear about it. I've got my parole hearing in four months, and I'm not crossing the line, and neither should you. No one ever escapes from Rikers Island, and you won't either. You know that cart that comes around every day? The one with the deep basket for sheets and stuff? Well, it's a perfect hiding. Shut up. <laughs> shut up and shut up. <laughs> now, or I'm calling the guard. No. Don't you know they'll get me as a co-conspirator? I'm warning you. If you say one more word, Okay, mum's the word. I'm sworn to silence. My lips are sealed. They better be, because I got myself to think of here. Okay, okay. I won't tell you anything. But the night that I slip inside the laundry cart, I'll make sure you aren't looking. Guard! <laughs> that on the onset. 
Okay. That's just fine. Fine and dandy and deep. Let's do this. Yes, first we assess your life expectancy. We look at your age, income, debts, assets, current health status, pre-existing conditions, surviving family members. No, stop it. Listen, Ma Madam Insurance Sales Lady, let's make this simple. How much can I get worth a hundred bucks? A hundred a month? Okay, how much? Well, let's see now, it all depends. How much? Will that be term life? Variable life, <laughs> universal life, or a whole life policy, please. Gosh, really, that many? I had no idea. Then how about this? Can you tell me how much death benefits you need? Wait a minute, life insurance? That's like after you die, right? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't got no children, no grands either. So what I need money for anywho, ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I think we have included our business for today, dum-dum. <laughs> if you'll be so kind as to close the door behind you. I'm sure, my lucky day. I just came back a hundred smackers a month. Woohoo! <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready? Sure. Here we go on a hike. Is this the closest you can get to the store? You see how crowded the parking lot is. It's never like this in Iowa. Well, we're in Detroit now. <laughs> I know. <coughs> Esther, come on. It's almost Hanukkah. The jelly tub of beer. <laughs> No humming, Gert. Hey, look, isn't that an empty space over there? Yeah, but the people in that other car saw it first. How do you know that they saw it first? I think I saw it first. Let's go. <laughs> Never mind, they already got it. You have to be ready to move, Gert. Esther, shopping brings out the worst in you, doesn't it? <laughs> well, what about over there? Over where? By the front of the store, the sidewalk. You can't park on the sidewalk. We'll get a ticket. <laughs> the sign just says, no bicycles or skateboards. It doesn't say anything about Chevys. Josh, wait a minute. Do you see the guy standing over there by that blue car two hours over? Yeah, what about him? He looks awfully suspicious. Well, see if you can get closer. Why? To get his description for the police? <laughs> no, to make sure we get his parking space when he pulls out. You were never like this in Iowa. When in Rome, anyway. All I want is a decent parking space. Is that too much to ask? Hey, look. Isn't that an empty space? Over there? Esther, you're right. It is. It's a little tight, but I think we can squeeze in. How am I doing on your side? You've got about an inch to spare. Wait. Make that two inches. You just peeled off our side moldings. <laughs> How about on your side? It's close, but I'm making it. Yes, yes, perfect, okay? Now you can get out. How? Through the window? I can't even open the door. Can you get out the window? No, 
Oh, I can't get out the window. I'm 87 years old. <laughs> of course I remember. You're two years older than I am. So maybe you can get out the window. Never mind, I'll go around the parking lot one more time, okay? <laughs> Wait, I think I see one. Yes, that's one. Look, over there. Well, I don't believe it. You're right. That is an empty parking space. And it's right in front of the store. This is amazing. After all our driving around in circles, listening to you complain, we finally found one. And it's perfect, right up here by the store's entrance. We couldn't have asked for a better space. This is great, we're so close. This is almost as good as valet parking. Well, come on, get out. We've got Hanukkah shopping to do. Uh, Dirk. Yes? The store just closed. <laughs> Schwartz's office. They let you clean his 
private office? Well, I just do a little dusting and try not to snoop around. Oh yeah, sure. Well, will you look at this? Leftover food stuff, can't these people throw anything away? Wait, throw away? I doubt if anyone meant to throw this away. What you got there? Look, there's gotta be over a thousand K here. Oh no, how awful. Someone must be going crazy looking for that money. Are you kidding? It's our lucky night, we're rich. Oh no, Alice, we can't keep it. But why not, Flo? Listen, hon, we'll split it down the middle. No one will be the wiser. You can finally buy that warm coat you've been wanting. No, it's stealing. Stealing! Don't be a sissy. Come on, this is our chance. Alice, if you take that money, I'll have to, well, I'll tell the supervisor. Okay, you're right. I'll be good. Yeah, back to work. Right, back to work. Hey, Alice, I just remembered something. Oh, no, that's your line, sorry. <laughs> hey, Alice, I just remembered something. <laughs> What's that, hon? You, you still owe me $2.50 from the bail place. Good God, you just turned down a thousand dollars, but you're worried about a buck and a half? But you promised. You said you would pay me right back. I can't believe you. You forgot? No, I just think you're being silly. Okay, okay, you're right. I've changed my mind. You can keep the buck 50. You feel better now? <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming and enjoy. We love doing this for you, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And more to come. I won't tell you when, but more to come. Bravo! Bravo! I've listened in on their practices and they just keep getting better and better. So we want to thank you for entertaining us this afternoon and we hope that we can have another performance soon. Thank you.